You're live on the air. What's your name, comment, and or question? This is Stephanie calling from Montana. Hi, Ben. Stephanie. Stephanie, my How are girl, you? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine, and I'm listening to your comments and to your callers' comments. And I have to say, oh, and <laughs> I have to say that um, I agree with your first caller's comment about foreign policy. Mm -hmm. I disagree that um, all we need to do is identify Bernie Sanders' policymakers. And I feel like he doesn't have the foreign policy experience. And not only that, he's a single issue candidate. He repeats himself over and over and over and over and over again about Wall Street. And I grew up in Vermont. I know what Bernie Sanders is like. I've watched him work over the years. He's a very, very nice man. Let me let said. me stop. Let me stop you, Stephanie. Let me stop you, Stephanie, because okay. you, you're playing dirty, Stephanie. You you know you know no, we go back. Yes, dirty. you're playing dirty because we go way back. You know we've known each other for some years, and you know we are good <laughs> friends. And it's your first yep. time calling to my show, and 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 yep. and I'm I'm in my mind. I'm like, am I am I going to I'm gonna am I going to give it to Stephanie like I would give it to anyone else? <laughs> All right, let's well, let's, might as well. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, let's see if I'm going to be true to myself. Let, let's let's back up in terms of foreign policy experience, experience doing what and to what end to 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 the decisions that mattered the most that she was directly and solely responsible for. She failed on in foreign policy. She did ride right. with President right. Obama. She did. She did go with the President Obama coalition. She did. She was a secretary of state. She did implement the policies that President Obama sent her out to do. We there's nobody's going to take that from her. Bernie Sanders doesn't take that from her. But when she was an, an agent working on her own, she voted for the Iraq war. She de helped destabilize that region. And and that goes to something that is just as important as experience, which is judgment. You can't, all the experience in the world does not add up to the right amount of judgment and clarity. And you have to ask yourself the question, how many things that does Hillary Clinton in particular, let's just talk about foreign policy. How many things does she have to change her mind on and say that she made a mistake for us to question her judgment? Well, first of all, I would say in, in regards to the judgment question, there were many, many people who voted for going to Iraq who have since reversed their opinions. And I think you can only go based on, with, uh, you can, not only, but it's, you must go with the information that you have at the time. Mm -hmm. Now, Bernie. But he had the same information, in, in all fairness. Yeah, Bernie Sanders had, had the same had, exact information. Well, go ahead. He didn't have the same information, but he doesn't know a lot about foreign policy. So but he made the right decision. Information. If we're talking about foreign policy, they but had the same exact right information. But what made you say it was the right, why do you say it was the right decision? The right decision to vote against the Iraq war? Yeah, well, because there was one, there was no vote. weapons of mass destruction. One, we did, even George W. Bush's dad understood this principle. If you take out Saddam Hussein, you un, you destabilize the region. There will not be a structure, power structure there to keep the forces from destroying each other. And he knew that George W. Bush's father, H.W. knew it. Bernie Sanders knew it. A host of progressives knew it. Hillary Clinton was one of the people, and you're right, there's enough voters to actually get it passed, so she's not by herself. But now she's at, we're asking to trust her. We're being asked to trust her with these decisions in the future. And so for me, if, if it's a matter of saying her foreign policy experience, then you have to take into consideration her foreign policy judgment. And I'm not saying that you're gonna wash one away or the other. You have to measure it out. And to me, the judgment just is, is a glaring red flag. That's that's just well, what it is. Go ahead. So it's such an ultimate. We just ultimately disagree on that issue. I don't agree with the Iraq War personally, but I don't agree that her judgment was poor in the situation at hand, based on the knowledge that she had. And George Bush's father also went to war in that region. So you know, I mean, there's just such a lot of history. But he went to and war in that region, Paul, Stephanie. Like in said, all in all fairness, he went to war in that region. He accomplished the spe the specific task of pushing um, um, uh, Saddam Hussein back. And he didn't go into Baghdad. He expressly made it clear, and you can read this, he made it clear that we are not going into Baghdad because if we go into Baghdad, we are going to destabilize the region. His son did not even take his father's advice. And, and, and the point is, everyone had the same uh, intelligence. Everyone had the same information. Hillary Clinton. Now, is this the benchmark by which we should judge everything else she ever does? 
I don't personally think so, but if we're going to bank on her experience, we have to include her decision on the Iraq war, which is by far the, 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 the the impetus behind the destabilization in the region right now. If, if, if there is no ISIS without the Iraq war, right? I, I mean, there's just plenty of scholars that would agree there is no ISIS without the Iraq war. So that one decision did trigger so much chaos in that region that if we're going to talk about her credentials, we have to talk about her judgment. Now I've got a million questions.